Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so um, today is pouring. Uh, I did a hammer pouring, uh, little hammer bits a little bit ago. There's a lot of stuff I didn't like about it. And so um, we're going to do it over again. And uh, I'm going to do it over this because I really like the hard panels. I think they are crazy important when doing the hammer technique. Um, but I think this one is crazy fun. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so for as far as colors, we got gold. We've got French cream, ancient pottery, and fine wine. So who knew you were going to have fine wine on YouTube tonight or today or this morning, whenever you're watching this. But I'm going to mix up these colors real quick and then we're going to then we're going to pour. So here we go. Well, that was not supposed to happen, but it did. So um, I get my palette knife, my palette knife, also my cake decorating knife. My palette knives are still on back order. Get in the, there, get in there. All right, well, not been very cooperative, but okay, back to mixing.
So I just decided that this gold is too, too thick. So I'm adding a touch more Floetrol because I don't want my paint to do any crazing. Uh, you know, we work so hard to get our paints looking nice and our painting is looking nice that I think I'd just rather waste a little bit of, bit of Floetrol rather than um, have my paint craze afterwards because that would drive me nuts. But I just need to get a little bit of extra Floetrol in there so the water doesn't do things with my paints that I didn't want. Back to mixing. All right, much better guys. Thanks for uh, waiting through that. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna cover this, this, uh, this business up with this it's almost like an eggshell white. I know the thing said it was some sort of crazy French cream or French cream. Yeah, but um, it's not so. It's like an eggshell. So I'm just gonna pour this around and make sure it gets to everything. I think if anything, I erred on the side of too runny today because I'm gonna hit this with a hammer in a minute and, oh, I had this lady who suggested using a tack hammer. Not an attack hammer, but, a t well, let me show you. This is a tack hammer. It's got a square on one side and then this weird square with, a, with that little thing cut out of it. This is a, a tack hammer. And apparently in California that this product is, uh, contains something that is known to cause cancer. So that's exciting. Um, okay, but back to, um, back to our painting. So I am covering it. There's no silicone in any of this. Actually, there's this weird business that was in there. That's coming out straight into my trash. Awesome, gone, done, like that. So I'm just going to cover this business in, in this white here. And then once we start smacking on it, I want it to be, I want it to be loose, the paint to be uh, loose. I want the paint to be thinner so that when I hit it, I want it to go farther without having to hit it quite as hard. I am still looking for a, a hammer smacking master. I would love to learn even more about this technique. I just think it is fun. You get to hit paint with a hammer. And I'm not wearing clothes that I really want to get messy, but I really should have thought of that before I started on this business. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of get off my pout, pour him out. Then I'm gonna go from light to dark. From dark to light. So. Uh, I'm do. I think I'm gonna pour different colors and then hit. It almost looks like. It's really cool. It's the shape of the hammer is putting these little starbursts in there. That's really cool. I didn't expect that, but I love that it's happening. All right, now let's get a uh, let's get some gold in here. As a shade, it's about oh man, it's just a, a lighter shade of this one, but. Now, the only thing I dislike about this is it's putting bubbles in my paint. <laughs> Bubbleless. All right, let me grab one of my rags from another week and uh, 
You know what? I didn't even check to see if my mic was uncovered. Guys, I really hope my mic is uncovered. If it's not, I'm sorry. Um, let's get some of this awesome, awesome fine wine on here. I love this. You know what? I always thought that purple wasn't male enough, but it's just a fantastic, beautiful color. I don't know. put just a touch of this base color over the top and then whack it a couple more times then we'll move on to our oh, see I was hitting with the wrong side so this side doesn't work nearly as much I noticed that right away actually oh I just thought of something so you would think that since there's a split right there, it would make it less of a three prong uh, uh, for like a, you know how it shoots off on its flat sides. You would almost think that it, man, I'm trying to get this bit cleaned off out of the middle and it's resisting me. Don't resist me. Okay. So you would almost think that it would shoot out less top to bottom on this side. So I'm going to, let's try it. No, nope, just shoots out less altogether. I don't like that. Oh, wow. This is pretty full. All right, now let's do the same thing on the other side. I think I want more gold, so I'm going to start with gold and then put another layer of gold in it. This almost reminds me of a bunch of flowers. Maybe I should get green with like a little bitty paintbrush and kind of mm, draw in a... Nah. Nah. All right, so um, let's start with gold. We were talking about that earlier. Ah, uh, shoot. I gotta mix this a little bit. So I've noticed some people just pre-dump everything in their, everything that they want in this area, that's totally okay. I just didn't want to do that because I've done that before. And right now, part, part of the purpose of this video is just to learn and try new things. I don't know if I'm ever going to be a hammer master. It sounds like a kung fu term. I don't know if I'll ever be a kung, a kung fu master. Of course I'm a kung fu master. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be a hammer guy that's amazing at hammer, but I like trying new stuff, and I don't know, I just want to see what we can do with this, because it's fun and, and unique and completely different. Come on, baby, fill back up a little bit. You know what? This reminds me of snapdragons. My mom used to buy those when I was a boy because, well, boys don't like flowers, but snapdragons, they've got the name dragon in it. Of course it's cool. And so um, she used to get snapdragons. And for some reason, that right there reminds me of the snapdragons.
and then gold. You know the thing about this this uh, this uh, 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 this board is it's warped, so I can see my stuff wanting to slide. It's sliding towards the middle, and I want it to stop, but I've gotten it. I don't have a, get a say in this one, so just gonna have to live with it, unfortunately. But um, so let's put a bit of this. Oh, there was something I did not like. Mm -hmm. I know I'm creating a mess. I'm kind of trying to create a mess. I want to see if um, if that bears any I don't know, any difference to the way that it comes out when I when I whack it. Although I was a little disappointed to cover up that little flowery bit right there, but oh, that's kind of fun. It kind of sent out a stri striation. Sorry. Shing. I want to take a little bit of this. No. A little bit more of this purple. Come on. The idea that I was having is to put a little bit of this purple at the middle of our of some of these flowery things just to kind of like I don't know maybe give it a little bit of frame um I'm not entirely in love with what we're coming up with maybe I just like the idea of hammering a little bit more than I like hammering itself I'm gonna get I want to run a torch over this just to kind of see how it affects these little bits here and there. Now there's no silicone in any of this, and so, um, yeah. It's pretty. I wanted that to be a little bit bigger. You know what? Maybe that's the way to work with it. As you kind of get these lines, those lines will stretch a little bit more. Once you kind of see what you want and you like, you can just get a... Just kind of spread them out and... Do that? Oh, purple, you've so disappointed me. It was so beautiful. It was bigger. It was lovely. Uh, so what are we going to do here? Okay. You know what? I would like to add just a little bit between here. And I know this is going to just lengthen the video so if you're on a timetable you know what I'm not even worried thank you for watching as far as you are but I like trying new things and trying new things is an adventure for me and um, 
So even if you're like just getting ready for the day and you want to put me down, I'm not offended. Thank you for staying around as long as you did. But I'm going to change this up right here. I want to kind of do like a, a diagonal uh, composition here. And, um, and I think what I'd like to see is the, the lines kind of flaying out to the side. Now, there's lots of stuff that's good here, but um, this is a learning experience, and I hope it's a learning experience for you, too. Um, so, yeah, as, as... All right. Whack! Okay, so what we just learned is when you whack, when the paint is thicker in an area, it's less crazy and more purdy. These are awesome. These right there, in fact, I'm pretty sure that if I keep trying to work through what it should look like, oh, check this out, okay. Let's do it up here because this isn't that interesting. So now that where it's thick right there, Kind of giving me light pinky things there. That's not what I was looking for. But if you can see it there, I really, those are, they are pretty. But that's not what we're looking for or going for, so. Now we're going to do two more layers with our little brownie bit. Our little, well, three layers. A little bit more of that whitey bit. And gold! You know what? It just kind of occurred to me that one of the things we do as artists, and especially as abstract artists, is to work with the chaos until it resembles something beautiful. I think that's kind of a cool thought. I don't know. just occurred to me. Anyway, I'm sure it's not that deep of a thought, and you've thought it a million times, but... That's a good one. I like that. What I'm doing here, I'm just whacking some of the more saturated colors. I got carried away. I don't know why I did that. You know what? I don't entirely know that I uh, I love it, but I don't dislike it like I did earlier. It's starting to become something. And uh and my running shorts are now my new painting shorts. Excuse me. Um, I'm happy. I am happy. I'm gonna get you down so you can take a little bit closer of a look. Um, because it is, it is unique. All right. 
it. Let's see if we can't bring a little bit of less. Come on, baby, focus up. Some of these are, come on, focus. There we go. I know there's a print in here somewhere. I love it when it kind of flowered out like some of these here. There's some beautiful things in here. We'll see how it how it ends up and how it turns out. 